Hey everyone. Just uh, let's wait a few minutes, obviously, till you guys join me on Indian Tennis Daily. So what we're going to be doing uh, right now for the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour is having a casual conversation with Nikki Punacha, who has been successfully nominated to be a part of the ITF player panel. And he'll be representing all of us from India. It's the first time we're going to have somebody like this uh, on an ITF panel. So it's very exciting times for Nikki. So what we're going to be doing is uh, having him join me on the page uh, very shortly. And for those of you who are not very familiar with Nikki, uh, he's our current national champion. He has uh, won the nationals in Delhi this past year and also had a fantastic Bangalore Open where he had beaten uh, Lucas Rizal. And for those of you who are not familiar with Lucas Rizal, he's the guy who had beaten Rafael Nadal at Wimbledon. And for those of you who are not familiar with Rafael Nadal, I think you're at the wrong page. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to quickly, quickly uh, send out an invite to Nikki as soon as I pin the comment so we all know that we're not just mucking around here. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to just send it out to Nikki and have him join me for this convo. Hey Nikki. Hi Jeevan, how are you? Oh, how are you, Dad? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Man, I'm good. Good to see you. Congratulations, first of all. Yep, thank you. Thank you so much, Ivan. Okay, great. So, Nikki, I was just talking to these guys, giving a quick intro about your career, just to familiarize everyone. Uh, I was saying that you beat Lucas Rizal at uh, Bangalore Open and that you are yeah. our current national champion. And obviously... Yeah. You don't want to be sitting at home during a lockdown. But at the same time, uh, yeah. how are things with you, man? How's everything uh, where you are? Are you able to spend time with family? Yeah, I mean, that's that's one good thing. Because uh, when I'm on the yeah. tour, uh, I hardly spend time. Like, I hardly go back maybe like two months back home in a year. But now I'm able yeah. to spend time, get to know each other well. And uh, it's yeah. not bad, honestly. I mean... Uh, I'm able to learn other stuff as well. Uh, you know, I'm yeah. just doing other stuff than tennis, started a company and everything. So it's really going good. Yeah. And That's the thing awesome, is, I'm not man. able to play tennis even now, but yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, like you said, it's not that bad, right? You're having a positive mentality. And uh, quickly, let's just get into talking about these questions, which everyone I'm sure is very uh, curious about. Uh, you've been elected to be a part of the ITF player panel. And I have a few questions yeah. that uh, a lot of people have written in and they want to know your thoughts uh, based on your successful uh, election. So, yeah, sure. so whenever you're ready, I'll just read out the first question. Uh, what made you go for the player panel and uh, did you consult anyone before you took this call? I mean, uh, like, personally, I had a, you know, I thought there can be few changes in the circuit through my mm -hmm. experience because I started playing the circuit when I was 18 and a yes. uh, few times the one of the difference was you know every every tournament is a different atmosphere in terms of ITF uh, if you take okay. uh, ATP tour it's almost the same you can expect uh, something but in ITF it's different uh, so I thought okay what changes we can do and then okay. uh, how, how I can help people I mean there are a lot of people uh, out there who wants help and at the same time, I thought, okay, let's ask few people also. I I did consult uh, uh, Rohan. I asked whether it'll be you know uh, good for us if I represent, and he said, yeah, okay. you, you should. Uh, if you get a chance, you should go for it. And uh, mm -hmm. I spoke to many other players as well. I asked, uh, I asked whether if you guys will vote if I uh, you know stood for the election. And they said, yes. yeah, of course, man, if you, if you are standing, of course. we'll definitely vote for you. And even I had a conversation with you uh, regarding yeah. this. Uh, so, yeah, all together, I thought, OK, uh, let's let's make a difference. And this is the first time ITF is bringing a player panel. And I thought, OK, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I should be part of it. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's how I decided, you know, 
let's try and uh, make make a difference nice man so how how long are you elected for now that you're part of the player panel how long is your duration so i'm i will be in the panel till 2021 and okay so the end of end 2021 of, yeah okay. end of 2021 yeah okay that's great man that's great that's uh, that's really exciting right i'm sure you must be excited uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about how you got elected like what were the procedures for people to vote because i remember even i asked you about this and you said there was a ranking criteria right if you mentioned yeah 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 so yeah the people who are above 350 only can mm-hmm. vote for the players and okay. uh, there's a criteria where uh between 350 and 500 people uh they can okay. stand but only two people yeah. will be voted uh, in the entire uh panel uh and oh, that's okay, okay. and uh the criteria goes like it's not a link it's a common link so everybody who's eligible will get a yes. email uh to their registered uh email address so that's yeah. how uh that's how the uh, election went through okay uh, that's yeah. that's awesome dude so can you talk me through each of your agenda points and your reasoning for it for being part of this tell us a little bit about your agenda yes. and reasoning yeah sure so all all these uh agendas i spoke to many people mostly indians because mm-hmm. i know many mm-hmm. indian players in the circuit so i spent a lot of time uh uh then i had my first uh my personal agendas first on the list mm-hmm. so what are i think uh, there should be a change what everything. did you feel what what were then, your personal agendas uh the one thing was everybody what uh, concern was the prize money yes the prize yes. money thing of course that's a big 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 very, issue uh, yeah exactly and uh, the thing is uh it's true that itf players uh they don't get paid as if compared to atp players but the thing yeah. is we cannot change the what is the 15k because yes, okay. i i made a calculation where if you get 250 dollars for the first round yeah uh, if you calculate like that it will go mm-hmm. the total prize money would be somewhere around close to 24000 dollars that's almost like 25k so yeah 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 exactly so there's no point and there's no point increasing it okay and uh, and players for the organizers 15k is needed so only only if there's 15k they can conduct more tournaments and the players will get opportunity as well okay uh, so, so where I where thought, would okay, you see the change in the prize money in a 15k like if it's not in the first round uh what part of the price the way it's broken down would you change i mean the prize um, money we, the one one part was that uh, everybody said the winner gets a lot of big big amount uh from yeah. the ipf i mean from the tournament but uh, what i feel yeah. is that he deserves it because he went yeah, through course. all the five rounds and yeah. when the he made it he made it to the end so we cannot just you know cut his price money into some half and we can give it to the lower player that's not fair so that's what i feel so what i did yeah. what i thought was okay let's bring something called itf grant it's similar to the atp okay. grant where uh, yes where you know uh, players will from i think uh, not sure 150 to uh, 400 people ranked people will get uh, $2000 every 6 months so i thought why mm-hmm. not bring the same to itf uh it mm-hmm. it need not to be the exact amount 2000 dollars uh maybe yes. we can split uh between uh criteria basis uh saying that uh maybe from 400 to 1000 but again so based on your ranking you can say so yeah based on your ranking and the weeks you played because people who are ranked 1000 they hardly mm-hmm. play 10 tournaments 15 tournaments yeah. a week and uh, yes that's that's not uh much so based yeah. on the weeks they play and the ranking we can uh, you know bring some criteria and we can uh, give some amount like give a player grant Correct. or something so that will be helpful like they, the player can expect a certain amount uh, 
after a six months time. So that will mm-hmm. we can plan, uh, you know, in future as well. Yeah, and uh, because I remember with the, the, the with the ATP, the way they look at it is uh, based on your ranking again. Uh, you get a certain amount. I think it is two thousand as far as the doubles is concerned uh, through the course of a year. Maybe you make it at the end of each tournament uh, after you complete ten tournaments is what the ATP model is. So if they say that you're playing more than ten tournaments and you start at your eleventh tournament, from your eleventh to your twentieth uh, tournament, you would make two hundred dollars each time you played. Just to help out a little bit, so I mean it's it's a good initiative for sure for the ITF to have for you, like what you mentioned with the players uh, who are seriously invested in making it in the tour, right? Because then they're definitely playing more than ten exactly. tournaments a year. Exactly. So yeah. it, like that way, we know the players will get something and uh, the balancing will be there. Correct, man. And uh, yeah, moving on to the next one. Uh, so everyone. <coughs> So all the players who are ranked uh, close to uh, let's say 900 and above, or even 1000 mm-hmm. above, let's say. So there are a lot of people. I think there are like 2000 people who are ranked above 1000. So almost. I'm not exact yeah. of the number, yeah. but there's a, there's a large, of like course, lot of a people. Lot. Yeah, there's a lot and, for sure. Yeah. yeah, and all the people are not not getting uh, chances, like because uh, the rule changed for the qualifying draw, they reduced it. Okay. And the players wants to travel, but then they're not able to. So everybody mm-hmm. uh, are suggesting that you make the draw 64. So in the qualifying, the players will in the qualifying, of course, in the qualifying. Okay. So the players will get enough chances. Yes. And the thing is, even tournament, uh, like the organizers can earn, like resorts type, uh, the mm-hmm. home player they uh, they get the better for us. I mean, for better for them. So, yeah. 64 draw will benefit the players and mm-hmm. uh, the ITF as well. They can get more. Uh, uh, what do you say? Prize uh, entry fee, and uh, exactly. that, oh, the organizers can get uh, better, uh, you know, uh, business through that, and they can they can conduct more tournaments as well. Correct. It, like so that, like what you mentioned request. with the resort style, like the resort style tournaments. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, and uh, and that that's one everybody is uh, wanting. All the players who are who wants to come in as well, like the players transit transiting from juniors to men's. Now the spots, yes. I think, uh, into main draw. There is a, uh, I'm not sure. I think four players for the juniors reserve. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. For the 15. I think game. it's four. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So four players uh, reserved for the juniors. But mm-hmm. again, uh, I see not many juniors are coming. I don't mm-hmm. know why. Uh, I haven't uh, that that spot haven't filled up for. Uh, yeah. But again, there are a lot of players who want to play. Mm-hmm. Qualifying at least they want to. Try. So the idea of so increasing, increasing the draw size so that everyone has an opportunity to play, correct? That's that's exactly. on your list of things. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Exactly. And uh, the other thing is. Uh, This is one of the concerned players told me that was uh, the third set rule. I mean, the qualifying rule, like third set super tie break, okay. match tie break rule. So mm. uh, what everybody feels is that part is not uh, based on your uh, physical condition or even the mental condition. It's just like momentum. You just go if you blast a few points, you get the win. And the the most of the players they feel it's not uh, fair. Yeah, I like, agree. You no, know what? So I yeah. thought, yeah. But again, if you see in this way, let's say that now they reduced the period of the tournament. So before it used to start from Saturday, but nowadays it mm-hmm. starts from Sunday. So the okay. uh, the qualifying sign is on uh, Saturday, and the match starts on. Sunday and Monday it goes till Monday, so they have to finish it by okay. Monday, so they can start the main draw. So to do this, uh, you know they have to reduce the timing of the matches. So that's why they brought this rule, the third set match tie break rule. What are your thoughts on that? But what do you I, think again, about that? Uh, what I so yeah, uh, we need that, but again, we can implement what we are doing in ITA circuit. So in ITA okay. circuit, uh, you play. 
let's say there are four rounds you play mm-hmm. the first three rounds with uh, difference like draw uh, you know 18 games like best of 18 something like that okay. but the final mm-hmm. qualifying round will be three sets ah uh, okay so your idea so, is to say we stop in the beginning rounds and we give a fair chance to the people who make the final round of qualifying so they get three sets exactly yeah. so it yeah. it's a fair amount i mean we cannot yeah. uh, rule out that but we can do this also like the 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 final round can be best of normal three five five big sets so yeah that that yeah, way it'll be even both it'll make a even uh, balance mm-hmm. i so, i agree man yeah so the next one is my personal favorite i would say uh-huh. so which Tell is me. the better tournament structure so you know uh, there are uh, 90 weeks of tournaments in asia alone wow uh, i didn't know that yeah so i just did a calculation to so 2007 had to uh, 110 then next year 2018 had like some 8 uh, uh, 80 i think 80 or 80 98 something and uh, 2019 had around 85 tournaments 85 weeks of tournaments okay. not 85 weeks or 85 tournaments but the thing mm-hmm. is uh, everything they don't have a proper uh, structure so if if china wants to so china has like 15 weeks so that's yeah. just like most uh, uh, like i would say static if they are every every year they are conducting 15 tournaments okay. without they're being, very consistent yeah they, yeah they keep having the tournaments yeah they are yeah. very consistent yeah so what i was planning was uh they can conduct 15 tournaments as well but we we put them we give them like a plan so let's say that we start with china because they are conducting more tournaments so let's uh, they have three weeks of tournaments there and the yeah. next tournament has to be closer to that place so the closer to that place will be japan yeah so from from japan from china they go to japan and from there they yeah. can uh, there's a no uh, korea so they can travel yeah. to korea 3 weeks then it'll go to hong kong 3 weeks and then it goes to uh, singapore 3 weeks then malaysia 3 weeks then thailand 3 weeks then australia 3 weeks so a proper proper like asian it. circuit which is uh, friendly for the players economically because they don't have to spend too much uh, between each tournament to get to these tournaments Yeah yeah exactly so it's it's closer to each uh, of the places and for example uh, like i said if you go to thailand you can take a break mm-hmm. you don't need to play the yeah. uh, Jap- japanese circuit and korean you start with uh, thailand circuit the next 3 weeks will be in indonesia which is closer yeah instead mm-hmm. how it is now is the tournament it's in qatar 3 weeks mm-hmm. the next 3 weeks in japan so it's it's a very big travel for each the players to reach the spot yeah so it we can reduce the travel timing the cost of the players traveling to the place and this of will course. bring the better uh tournament structure for players so they can take a break and they know it's going to happen for sure mm-hmm. and they can they can go about it and it's yeah. easier flights we don't need to necessarily go to europe to find tournaments so we can do it in yeah. asia of course if you want yes. more experience better yes. conditions we can go to europe so yeah this way we can do this better yeah i agree yeah. this is a very good uh, plan that you're talking about having more tournaments inside uh, asia so that the players don't have to spend too much on travel uh, so i know you told me you've already had a couple of meetings with the panel uh just i'm sure everyone's curious how were those meetings and uh, you know what were your initial thoughts on being part of that meeting first of all yeah first of all i mean my initial thoughts i'm i'm just uh, i should say thank you to all the players who voted for me and i'm really happy of to course. represent all of them so the meeting uh, we had a first meeting i think uh, one week back so okay. we just want to get to know each other and it went very well i mean everybody in the okay. panel they want to help the players so their main mm-hmm. uh, you know way to look at it how how can we help the players so that mm-hmm. is the initial thought 
uh, for all the players and uh, were they talking we about the prize money and the tournament locations that you just mentioned you talked about prize money and location were we there for those or was uh, that no, part no, of the discussion we, we didn't okay just a initial no, meeting it, it wasn't yeah it was a initial meeting where uh, so all, all these uh, things can come next the first uh, mm -hmm. criteria is to how we restart the tennis so that is the main yes. concern for all the players around the world uh the question where uh you know is it safe to start the tournaments uh august and how the uh, ranking is going to change uh and everything yeah. and these uh, are not so easy questions right nikki you guys have uh, must have been uh, having a tough time these are definitely tough questions because uh i remember the atp mentioned that uh, they're trying to start with the us open uh, as planned and as you as the, everyone who's following the news knows that uh, a lot of players are testing positive to corona virus so uh, i'm sure looking at it from an itf standpoint uh, it's must i'm honestly very curious to know what you guys are thinking or what the itf was planning uh, on uh, restarting the tour um so we had few thoughts but again uh, it's not uh is just our own uh, imagination like how we can start but itf we haven't had the chance to talk with itf yet i think we have the meeting on 30th with the so we have a with the official meeting okay. with with the itf and everything so that time okay. we'll get to know more details but now uh we, there's no information regarding that uh, as per the plan they said august uh, i think 13th week the men's men's tour is going to start and i saw a few tournaments came up uh, in us uh, germany and russia and even in thailand there are like some yeah. five weeks of tournaments in a row uh, yeah i mean everybody is is concerned about the safety first and uh, the other thing they are concerned is that are we allowed to travel to the other country so yeah let, can everybody India, play I mean, can everyone travel exactly yeah exactly so I mean for us being an indian we cannot go outside i think most of the country uh is like india indians are banned like they can't travel even if they travel they have to go undergo 14 14 days of quarantine uh yes. so which is very tough for indians and it's the same yeah. it's the same for uh brazil uh mm -hmm. one guy in the panel who is a brazilian oh he's in the panel okay so, what did he say yeah yeah he said yeah he said he is not allowed to play he, yeah, he wow. can't go out even train and it's every day the cases are increasing rapidly like how it's in india so everybody is like not sure and everybody mm -hmm. wants to start the everybody is recommending us to talk with the itf uh, you know ask them to start uh, fresh in january or february of 2021 uh but again uh exactly you know uh, we are not sure so so it it all depends on the itf yeah, i'm sure i'm sure you'll see that it's not that easy a decision for the itf or the atp uh from from a player standpoint like what we talk about it's uh, it always i mean it sounds like an easy answer to say let's just play a little bit later because we all can't uh, can't travel and it seems like the most reasonable thing to do but what i heard from the yeah. atp was it, it which makes sense is at the end of the day it's a business and they do need to have certain tournaments to have officials still have their job and it sounds like that was uh, very important to their agenda on starting tournaments and i'm sure the itf will look at it in that angle as well but it will be great to have people like you on yeah. the council who can you know in some sense uh, talk for the players behalf talk about the players from brazil from india where the cases are still spiking and they're still not able to uh, practice and of course you know that we need to practice before we can even think about uh, tournaments yeah yeah exactly uh, sorry just a current went here uh, okay. nah no worries no worries no worries man i i know the feeling when the current goes even in pondicherry the current goes often but i like you i like your quick backup okay. that you had you're well prepared yeah it's, it's <laughs> yeah so you yeah. actually look you look clearer now you look more clear now so it's oh, good yeah? okay yeah yeah I'll don't worry it on <laughs> super so yeah uh, so regarding regarding your question like you said i mean uh, even the itf they need to you know 
support their staffs and uh, sponsors who are uh, you know sponsoring all the events the stakeholders and everyone <clears throat> so it's yes. it's uh, they have to they have to do it that's for their uh, business point of view but again yes. uh, uh, again you said it's 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 complicated so uh, we cannot uh, really say much on that unless until we get a clear picture on that yeah exactly nikki there's not a whole lot that you know you can say uh, right now because it's all about the i'm quite happy and i'm sure the whole indian community is happy that you you're elected we have someone like you who's uh, you know coming out in public and you know, telling us about your meetings and letting us know what's happening so this is something that i'm not used to honestly and i've been on the itf tour for many years so we are all very proud of you and very happy that you're at least there to be the voice of the indian players you know i have spoken to a lot of guys and they are all very happy that you're there so just tell me quickly how did you approach uh, this player voting phase to get you elected were there some kind of um, cuz i i know that indian tennis daily helped out a lot i they promoted you really well i saw that you finished second yeah. only to one other player in the voting list which was great yeah. so a lot of people backed you on getting into the panel so tell me a little bit about that of course I mean, yeah. I mean, first, thanks uh, to uh, Indian Tennis Daily. I think Vishnu and uh, uh, yes. Vandana. So they really helped me of out course. a lot. They came up with the players list, and they did all the posters and everything. Uh, they did the hard work, I would say. Uh, I was just going personally to each players, finding their profiles, like social media profiles. Uh, I'll just uh, text them saying, uh, you know. Uh, i'm representing the players panel and this is my agenda uh, you know if you see me fit uh, please do vote me and everything it was a long process i think we almost uh, reached 300 players uh, because yes, there are yes. 80 players in 80 players in india and we reached out to japanese players uh, african players uh, everyone i think so I, sure did the itd reach so, out Uh, did the ITD help reach out to all these players? Uh, how did you yeah. manage to go about yes. it? So, I mean, uh, they personally reached out to few people. Uh, again, by, because I we thought that it it will be best if I reach out personally to them because I'm the one who's uh, you know in this panel. So I yes. so we personally went on messaging everyone in the Instagram, uh, Facebook, and everyone. uh indian players we had i had the numbers so it was easy to connect with the indian players but the foreign yes. players was uh, you know we had to reach out and uh but yeah i mean i'm i'm just really happy that uh all the players voted for me who voted for me and uh i have to thank indian tennis daily and uh you know uh vishnu uh bala even uh, rohan uh, leander and even you given you help uh, help me to promote uh, you know spread the word uh, in the circuit and everything no, so no of course man i i I've, I've, i've spoken to rohan and to bala and all these guys about uh, you even vishnu vardhan i saw a lot of posts that he made uh, all the guys pretty much uh, we know you we've been around you long enough i've trained with you in my off seasons uh, you know the the important thing is that you have good intentions and we know that about you so it's easy to back yeah. somebody like that so it's very exciting isn't it it's exciting to be part of uh, yeah. the itf panel and I, even i'm very curious to see what comes out of this uh, so i wish you the best um, with that man thank you thank you thank you so much ivan uh, so yeah i mean so, uh, so gonna... there are a lot of questions let me just move on quickly to the next mm-hmm. question then nikki Uh, so what are your thoughts on ITF yeah, tennis sure. uh, scene uh, well we already spoke about this where we asked about uh, when do you yeah. think that tennis could likely begin uh, but you know uh, that's something uh, i i we already spoke about this off the camera that it, it's hard to say right it really depends every day yeah, something's yeah, changing yeah every every day there are new cases coming up like you know djokovic got uh, positive like tested positive and a lot yeah. of players getting they have tested positive so uh, we can't really say but but like i said even itf and atp wants to generate funds so uh, we have to see what what exactly. they are coming up with perfect man so uh, at this point 
if you guys have any questions for nikki uh, from the comment section i'm happy and i'm sure nikki is also happy because uh, these are all the questions that i had for you nikki unless there's something else that you really want to talk about uh, feel free to uh, bring it up because uh, i know it's very early stages for you in the panel and we should probably do this every couple weeks i would think it would be great because uh, you could give us an update on what's happening you know and uh, i know for i for one would love that yeah yeah definitely i mean uh, it's it's better for us to keep connected uh, and uh, i can give you more insights on the tournaments i mean what's happening in the itf uh, yes the one of the main reason why uh, i stood for the itf was you know to get uh, quality information from the itf like you know uh, the correct information mm-hmm. not the rumors so correct information yeah. to the players because players needs to mm-hmm. hear what's happening inside the uh, ITF panel and uh, for the ITF uh, they wants to know what's happening with the players uh, so i i want to you know personally ask all the players if you have any uh, views or any ideas uh, anything you can just share it to me and i'll be happy to make a report and uh, you know i can i can talk with that with ITF and we can come up with a solution something like that so that will really oh, that's help great, man. uh tennis in general yeah that's perfect so nikki you're happy to reach out to any players on what's going on with the uh, itf world and uh obviously we have an easy way to get in touch with you we just talk on indian tennis daily or i'm sure you'll be happy enough yeah, to share your contact details maybe not on the live but yeah. if anyone wants to get in touch with you it's not hard <laughs> yeah 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 of course of course it's uh, i'm all, i'm always available so it'll be easy uh, there's a question from sukwant where he said uh, how would you be able to make a difference and what are your plans uh, so sukwant I, i think we already covered that and we spoke about this uh, for the majority of the show so if you can watch the video once again uh, nikki spoken about this already yeah so if there's anything else that guys want to uh, ask nikki we'll give it a couple more minutes uh, bro and if anybody has any questions that are relevant to you being on the panel i'm sure we're happy to take it but uh, yeah yeah sure we have a uh, lot of support for you coming from the mumbai leon army days so yes. what about league tennis <laughs> you must be happy about that there's a good opportunity for us at least in the near future where we can probably uh, get some league tennis you know i'm sure we would like to meet first we have to go with uh, interstate travel when we can meet uh, would you be how, what was your experience with uh, tpl and would you be excited to do it again yeah i mean i was uh, i was actually about to ask the the owner the mumbai the army owner like is it going to happen yes. is it the tpl 3 is going to come out uh, but i thought you know uh, it's not advice is advice to ask right now depends on the <laughs> now you this situation well, but you wouldn't yeah. be wrong to ask uh, nikki because we 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 don't know when we are playing and i'm sure just like myself we are all itching to play but from what i've heard and read uh, on in the papers uh, there is going to be another season so looks like you're also very excited yeah. for tennis premier league yeah yeah I'm, i'm 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 always excited to play leagues i mean so last year i had a first experience and it was amazing i mean i played i think three leagues so mm-hmm. everything was everything was fantastic <clears throat> and uh, i would be really happy to you know play for the league again of course of yeah. course and i'm sure the i i hopefully will get a chance to get my revenge on you in that league because i remember how well you played that day when you beat us i haven't forgotten <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was uh, uh, there's a, a good match. there's a question from isha <laughs> kickball there's a question from isha kickball okay. and he says that if the panel is pushing for a 64 qualifying draw uh they must ensure that the qualifiers get a day break before the main draw do you have any thoughts on that uh yeah i mean if if it's 64 then players have to play at least uh you know two rounds a day that's that goes without saying but they have mm-hmm. to extend one day as well uh if, if that makes it tough rest. on the tournament right yeah that makes it tough on the yeah, tournament yeah it's, it's it's all yeah exactly Uh, unless they have a uh, many courts available to play and it's going to be tough uh, but again we we have I'm not sure nikki but when you played the bangalore open you you came in with a wild card right you got a wild card when you had that run where you beat uh, lucas how does it work on the challenger singles tour 
from qualifying are you guaranteed a day off if you qualify or you're not guaranteed that day off right in a challenger uh it depends so what they do is either they'll give a break after your first round main draw or you'll get a break after your uh, final qualifying it works either way okay uh, okay so, so you so do get some yeah, time so either before or after qualifying okay yeah that makes so sense. yeah we can, we can implement the same in itf also so we can we yeah. can bring that uh, maybe you you will get a break after or before which is depends yeah. on the tournament referee that's great yeah uh that's all i have for you nikki uh, i can see that there's a few people talking about uh, tpl everyone including manish my partner my doubles partner is very excited for tpl <laughs> but uh, yeah guys you guys have nikki over here uh, we'll make it last call if you guys want to say anything or have any more questions like what isha can sukwant pointed out uh, i'm sure we're happy to take a few more questions but if not uh, like nikki mentioned feel free to contact him and talk all things related to itf tennis uh, he's our representation on the itf panel until the year 2021 comes to an end yeah yes i agree so, nikki uh, is an awesome player <laughs> anything else nikki <laughs> that you want to add to this i mean uh this this i mean we we spoke about everything till now and uh again so what what was one thing i was about to say before was uh, uh like i mentioned in the start there's a lot of uh, difference in itf and atp tour happening so there are like yes for example if you take an itf tour and uh let's take spain so i had my personal experience in spain where there was a tournament it has bmw sponsor and they had like am- amazing transportation to the hotel they get you on the bmw car they drop you and everything yeah yeah in the same in the next week the next week i had to walk 5 kilometers to find the tennis court i'm guessing so it was I, not I an atp walk. no it everything was itf 10k back okay. then it was uh, okay. 10000 so there are a lot of uh, difference between each tournament and since yes it's an itf uh you know it's a it's a first international event a player is going to play so it it has to have a basic standards so if you go into an atp tournament you can expect like you no know, there'll be a mm-hmm. basic transportation there'll be a good physio yes. available on the on the tour and you'll get free uh, you know supplements like energy bar or uh, yes uh, energy basic drink necessities basic necessities yes yeah, basic necessities like water unlimited water and you'll have a good uh, place to recover and everything so that's a basic you can expect from any atp tour but again uh, mm-hmm. we cannot provide so we should have something basic in itf also that's a basic standard so for example they can, they have to give yeah they have to give unlimited waters and uh, even if that's the, not a rule so is that not least, a standard right now that's not a standard with itfs they have they have to give a water but it's not unlimited Oh that that's so not good it, it, i mean come it, on yeah it, it actually yeah. depends on the tournament so if they have a good uh funds they will provide uh, unlimited water if not they'll say you'll get only two water bottles if you want more you can go fill it up or you have to buy it i mean mm-hmm. we are playing there and we we should not be able to think about you know i ran out of water no, you, 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 you definitely it. don't well, well uh, yeah, nikki at the beginning of this uh, of this uh, episode we were talking about uh, resort based events and you know that uh, i have a resort in pondicherry and we discussed a little bit about uh, the possibility in the near future of having uh, itf tournaments here uh, would that excite yeah. you if we had tournaments yeah, in definitely. Uh, pondicherry definitely if if if, uh, if there's to- tournament in pondicherry i would just shift over there and i'll just buy a property <laughs> in your uh, <laughs> resort <laughs> I'll just say that. Yeah, don't say don't say that man I might want to sell you a villa but we'll discuss the rates later for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll, but man uh, exactly so the idea also it comes in uh, it comes in tangent with what you mentioned uh, of having events in one location uh, exactly. when you're playing on the ITF tour we can definitely get more than 3 4 events in one spot and if we can do that it helps out the players all over the world because they can say 
I've reached Chennai, which is the international airport, and a two-hour drive. I'm getting a, a like I know this happens in Antalya, and it happens in uh, uh, I want to say Monastir in Tunisia, right? And in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, yeah, they have these resort-based yeah, events. Yeah, I went to Tunis. Yeah, yeah, I had to travel like three hours to reach the hotel, the venue from the airport. I'm sure yeah, it's not no. easy those type of things. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure uh, the Asian players, including all the Indians, uh, maybe one day in the future we can do something here, man, at the resort. I'll make sure you get the basic necessities like water. You'll have unlimited water. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. That that would be great. I mean, it's uh, tournaments is one thing all the Indian players need. Uh, it will actually yes. improve the tennis standard. So that's what I feel. And if if we can do that, you know, the resort type uh, in India, and that will be. Uh, Great boost to our tennis community in India. So, I'm looking forward to head event. So, let's see. Well, let's see. I'm also more than that in the near future. I'm looking forward to more updates from uh, Nikki Punacha and uh, his role with the ITF uh, player panel. So that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who joined. Nikki, uh, any other questions that we missed that you want to address? I think we should pretty much wrapped up here, right? Yeah, I think I think we had a good. Uh, session, so I think uh, we don't have much questions. So it's good. Yeah, we're good. We're good there. But uh, I'm sure if we can do this uh, every couple of weeks or every maybe even once a month, even when you're on tour, it's it's uh, it's uh, whenever you meet the ITF, right? You mentioned your meeting was on the thirtieth, if I'm not mistaken. Thirtieth. Yeah, thirtieth. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we correct. can always discuss and see what's happening. So then uh, all the players know what's going on. So that would be that would be great, you know. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. thanks again for uh, sharing all your insights, Nikki. I appreciate thank you, it. Thank you, Jimin. I'm happy. I'm happy to help you. Man, yeah. Of course. So see, see you guys. You. See you, Nikki. See you. See you guys. All right, guys. So there you have it. That was uh, Nikki Punacha sharing his thoughts on being part of the ITF player panel. He mentioned that he's going to be on it till the end of 2021. He's representing all of us in India with a voice, if not anything else. At least we can be aware of what's going on in the ITF world, which is very exciting. And uh, like he said, he's talking about having. Uh, we spoke about prize money and trying to make it uh, better allocated. We spoke about having tournaments very uh, nearby, so the players don't have to travel a lot. And his first official meeting with the with the ITF is on the is on the. 30th very soon so we'll keep you guys updated thank you so much for joining in and uh, being a part of the live and uh, see you all very soon bye